Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Amy's Transport Medium Explained uses preparation and bacterial recovery. Table of Contents Introduction Composition Principle Preparation Result Interpretation Uses Limitations Introduction to Amy's Transport Medium Amy's Transport Medium is an improved transport medium designed to prolong the viability of pathogenic organisms. It contains charcoal, which helps maintain the viability of pathogens during transport. The medium is semi-solid and is recommended for use in qualitative procedures. It is used specifically for transporting clinical swab specimens to the laboratory. Amy's transport medium is a modified version of Stewart's transport medium. The modification involves replacing glycerophosphate with an inorganic phosphate buffer. Charcoal is added to the medium to enhance its performance. This modified version, Amy's Medium, has shown a higher percentage of positive results compared to Stewart's Transport Medium. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Composition of Amy's Transport Medium Sodium chloride, 3,000 grams per liter. Potassium chloride, 0.20 grams per liter. Calcium chloride, 0.10 grams per liter. Magnesium chloride, 0.10 grams per liter. Monopotassium phosphate, 0.20 grams per liter. Disodium phosphate, 1.150 grams per liter. Sodium thioglycolate, 1,000 grams per liter. Charcoal, 10,000 grams per liter. Agar, 4,000 grams per liter. Final pH at 25 degrees Celsius. 7.2 plus or minus 0.2. Principle of Amy's Transport Medium. Amy's Transport Medium provides a reduced environment due to the presence of sodium thioglycolate and a small amount of agar. Charcoal helps to neutralize materials that are toxic to sensitive pathogens like Neisseria gonorrhea. Calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium salts support the survival of gonococcal cells. These salts also help control the permeability of bacterial cells. Phosphates in the medium act as buffers to maintain pH stability. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Preparation of Amy's Transport Medium Suspend 20 grams of the medium in one liter of distilled water. Bring the mixture to a boil to completely dissolve the agar. Distribute the solution into small screw cap bottles, stirring continuously to keep the charcoal evenly suspended. Screw down the caps firmly on the completely filled bottles. Sterilize the bottles by autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Invert the bottles while cooling to ensure uniform distribution of charcoal. Store the prepared bottles in a cool place until use. Use sterile, cotton-tipped swabs on wooden sticks to collect the specimen. Insert the swab into the medium, pushing it down to one-third of the medium depth. Cut the stick so that when the cap is screwed down, the swab is forced to the bottom of the medium. Ensure the cap is tightly closed and keep the bottle cool during the transport period. Result Interpretation on Amy's Transport Medium 
Organisms Growth Escherichia coli Good recovery on subculture Klebsiella pneumoniae Good recovery on subculture Neisseria meningitidis Good recovery on subculture Pseudomonas aeruginosa Good recovery on subculture Salmonella Typhi Good recovery on subculture Shigella flexneri Good recovery on subculture Staphylococcus aureus subiesp Aureus Good recovery on subculture Vibrio cholerae Good recovery on subculture Bacteroides fragilis Good recovery on subculture Haemophilus influenzae Good recovery on subculture Neisseria gonorrhoeae Good recovery on subculture Streptococcus pyogenes Good recovery on subculture Uses of Amy's Transport Medium It is used for collecting, transporting, and preserving microbiological specimens. It is formulated to maintain the viability of microorganisms without significant growth, as it is non-nutritive, phosphate-buffered, and semi-solid. It is a transport medium used to preserve the viability of anaerobes, such as Neisseria, gonorrhoeae, and other pathogens from swabs. It is used for the preservation of microbiological specimens. It is recommended for throat, vaginal, and wound samples. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Limitations of Amy's Transport Medium the old medium should be freshly steamed and the charcoal resuspended before use. Some growth of contaminants may occur during long periods of transport. After transportation, the specimen should be inoculated onto the proper medium as soon as possible. For optimum results, the time lapse between sample collection and inoculation onto culture medium should be minimized. It may not be suitable for the transport of fastidious organisms. Gonococci survive well in Amy's transport medium for at least 6 to 12 hours, if not exposed to temperature extremes. By 24 hours, the number of gonococci may decrease significantly, potentially preventing recovery if only small numbers were initially present in the specimen Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.